Now let's create the assembly for the pantograph. Click Assembly. Click Insert. You need to insert two of the long piece. So click twice. You need to insert one medium, five of the pins. So click five times and one short. So click inside the canvas and then click check. Zoom out and then just spread apart all the pieces. Select one of the pins, click at the top part, right click, move it to the origin, and then right click on this pin and fix that pin. So that's our starting point. On the view cube, click the top part, click on one of the long pieces, When the triad manipulator shows up, rotate this piece to 90 degrees. Notice how I oriented this piece. I have the two holes close to the pin. So let me put this in isometric. Now select the revolute mate. Select the top part of the first circle and then the top part of the pin. Click check. So now this should be able to swing freely on that pin. Next, grab one of the pins. Select Revolute Mate again. Click the top of that pin and click the top of this circle. Click check. Rotate your your assembly, select Revolute, click the bottom of the pin, and then look for the short piece and click at the bottom of the circle of the short piece. So click at the bottom of the circle of the short piece. Click check. To accept the mating. Next, let's add another pin. So click Revolute Mate. Click at the bottom of that pin and the bottom of the short piece. Click Check to accept. Once more, click the Revolute Mate. This time, click at the top of the pin and the top of the circle of the medium piece. Click check. So change the orientation of the medium piece, make it vertical. Once more, click Revolute Mate. Click at the top of one of your pins and click the top of one of the circles. Click check. Do that once more. Revolute Mate. This time target the last pin and then the top of the medium pieces circle. Check. Click on the last piece and then rotate it 180 degrees. And now we need to use the Revolute Mate. Select the bottom of that pin and the bottom part of that circle. Click Check. And we could move this piece out of the way for now and do the same thing with the last pin. Click. And then click. And then check. And there you go, here's your assembly. And how does this work? So click at the top of the view cube and move this arm. This is where you will be applying your effort force. So this is the one that you'll be pushing and pulling. And as you can see, this arm or this piece reacts to the movement 
of this piece. And so you're done with the pantograph. Do not forget to share this work to me.